Welcome to the Pin My Setup Highlights for episode number 163. The first setup was submitted by Michael. I really like what he's going for here. It kind of sucks that you have to condense, but you know, you're in eight by eight space, so that's not bad at all. And I think based on how this looks, you did a pretty good job. I mean, the, the PC placement's perfect on this one, but I think it, it's kind of hard to put a theme through. We can't really see the rest of it, but you have like the figures there. And it, it's, it's really nice. It's hard to critique because it is so simple and it's such like a one-sided photo. Michael scored an 82. The next setup was submitted by Jose. I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but I don't think that's the proper usage of vertical monitors. I think in a scenario like this, you want the vertical monitors to be sort of centered with the main center one. Have them drop down a little bit. Otherwise, to see the top left and top right corner of each monitor, it's like really up there. It's super high up. For theme, I had some trouble kind of pinpointing because he has all of his headphones covering it. So like, why hang those up if you're just gonna put the headphones over it and completely defeat the purpose? If I'm not mistaken, based on the angle of the photo, he has the monitorizer, but then it looks like if he was to drop down his side displays, it wouldn't hit the monitorizer. And if so, that would be awesome. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell based on the angle. It might hit it, it might not. That could be part of the reason. Jose scored 74. The next setup was submitted by Justin. This is a very simple, straight to the point setup. Nothing wrong with not having a bajillion things all over the place and you know, $100 bills falling from the ceiling. I would try probably putting the, the microphone arm though on the left side where the desk actually ends. So that way you pull it out, it still reaches you. Um, but when you move your arm while using the mouse, it's not right up against your arm. You know, you're 14, so time to add a little bit more to it. You're a graphic designer, so, but I would like to see a little bit more of your art, you know? Justin scored a 72. The next setup was submitted by Michael. He's actually 56 years old. He's been watching since November, 2014. And this side has his uh, custom PC, which you kind of see in the little cubby there. And then the other side has his Mac Mini. This guy has so much storage, it blows my mind. It is clean, it is so neat. Wire management is absolutely amazing. And it's a whole room. It's not two different setups. That is legitimately the whole 12, I think 12 by 12, he said. I would love to know what the storage is for. I think that's kind of a big deal, not knowing what the storage is even for and if it's all in use. Someone actually said it's probably <laughs> it's probably all empty. That'd be hilarious. Maybe adding a little bit more uh, in terms of like accessories would look nice. Michael scored a 96. The next setup was submitted by Joey. It is very close to the bed and kind of the usability of sitting there. I mean, you could see uh, in the other photo how close the chair, like the, I mean, the chair is up against the bed. I think he, the idea behind it's nice. I definitely put the subwoofer on the floor, clean up the cables coming from the speakers a little bit. The map is not centered or, I mean, it's a, it's a cool map. I don't think it like should get thrown out or whatever. That's weird too. So I would kind of figure out what you're going for. Looks like he likes history. So why not go with like more maps? Like, yeah, like a map room. Joey scored a 76. The next setup was submitted by Scott. Uh, one thing that I thought was a little bit weird was the under part of the desk. He's got basically all these different things here. Like, yeah, he's got a footrest, which is cool, but he's got his headphones and just random stuff kind of in the crotch region. Not my favorite thing in the world. I mean, in terms of usability, obviously everything is pretty damn nice. And it's funny because he's, he's like, yeah, I'm not a gamer, but if you look at his peripherals, he's he's rocking some gaming peripherals for sure. The monitor is like, it's probably like a 25 inch ultra wide. It just is, it gets lost especially with those huge ass monitor speakers. Uh, so I would recommend a fat ass 34 inch or 38 inch ultra wide to just take it to the next level. Scott scored an 82. The next setup was submitted by Jack. It's simple, it's to the point. It's, you know, it's usable, a little bit of personality. It's nice, but it's like definitely not even remotely close to a wow factor. It's more so of like a, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, if you break it down category by category, it works, lighting, I don't know what time of the day this was at, but if, if it was like, you know, 12 o'clock when the sun's right there hitting his room and it looks like this, then you need more than that light. You need to, I don't know, get some windows or something. It's just the desk is hideous. I like the posters. It's cool. I just think a new desk will take you to the next level. And more lighting. More lighting and a little bit more like personality. Like, yeah. Cool? Yeah, dude. Jack scored a 78. The next setup was submitted by Max. Probably thinks he's cool. He's like... Yeah, dude. Simple, nice setup. 
works. What are you gonna do about it? Dark photo, trying to hide his cable, so I didn't really give him like the best score ever. I think the speakers are in a little bit of a weird position, a little too high up, a little not ideal. I'd kind of put them down, I don't know, on your desk because you have the room for it. I don't see why you wouldn't do that. But it, it kind of looks like he's like, yeah, I'm cool, man. I'm anonymous, a smoke, a drink. What's next, bitch? Max scored a 78. The next setup was submitted by Nick. This was his original submission. I, I remember seeing this and saying like, that's not bad. Taking a look at his new setup. What? This picture is really cool. Like, it, I love that mirror thing. It's probably creepy as hell when you just see yourself sleeping. <laughs> Talking about the actual setup, usability is really nice. It's not probably the best uh, like spot for your PC. I also the side panels off. I don't know if he, he actually has the side panel dope PC. I kind of get what you're going for, but not a lot of LEDs inside. So I would definitely pimp out the inside if you want to keep it up on the desk, but it also kind of works because if you think about it, he doesn't have enough wall space to center himself, uh, center the monitor and then not, not have it look weird because it's centered against that wall portion. So I get the placement of the PC. So I'm not hating on it. I was just saying, at least pimp out the interior of the PC with some NZXT Hue Plus. Nick scored at 92. The final setup was submitted by Christopher. This is also his second time being on the show. His original setup was like the monitors were split apart. It was like really not usable. Uh, and he said he was roasted and he's back now. I like the usability now with the, the laptop and the monitors. That's good. I'll give you props there. I like that. Out of sight, out of mind, not the best. There's a lot going on. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of throwback stuff. I like it, but I, conden I would condense it down to just those things. So on the actual desktop, on the shelves to the side, a lot of stuff in them. Kind of condense it down, bring it to the, to the right level. Uh, of stuff and then the top shelf keep it to the consoles keep it to the game boys keep it to like all that stuff and, and make it nice and neat it's not a game of how much can you fit it's actually a game of just put what you should and not stupid shit. Uh, and then like the headphones, get a headphone stand, whether it's hook on the side of the desk, under the desk, something like that. Uh, because I think having it on the desk would actually be a little bit too much. Take it to the next level, maybe even more shelves above. If you want to keep some of that stuff, like the Call of Duty boxes and whatnot, you can keep them, but I would probably put it to another level and kind of keep the shelf centered around one main idea. Christopher scored an 80. Michael walked away with first place with a 96. Thanks for watching the Pay My Setup highlights for episode number one. 63.